Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining. Okay. So we we want to talk about a massive idea, right? And the idea is um, the the you know, and maybe even turn it into a research paper and use that research paper to go after Y Combinator and tell them, look, look what we have found, right? And the and the thing that we want to do is Y Combinator is one of the most successful accelerators, incubators or uh, you know angel investors in uh, very very you know good uh, startups uh, they have invested in more than 3910 companies so far over the last 15 years now if you are getting selected by y combinator just to give you a sense right every year i would say 10 20000 companies will apply all over the world to y combinator and they will select anywhere between 100 to 200 companies. So they select like less than 1%, right? Or 0.01% of the companies that apply to them. And they have one of the best selection process in the industry, right? So these 3,910 uh, startups that they have funded, personally funded, uh, personally, you know, um, uh, took care of them in the Silicon Valley for three months, we have all of their data, 3,900 companies' data. I'm pretty sure 50% of them are dead. Uh, we just watched, uh, you know, thing. And the remaining 50% either are alive, acquired, or have gone very, very big. Yeah. Now, what I want to do is to basically analyze the companies that are dead, analyze the companies that are living, analyze the companies that they are taking over next year. In fact, we have also applied to Y Combinator for 2023, right? Um, the idea here is how can we, how can we, you know, uh, see if social media uh, metrics like number of uh, followers, number of followers, number of posts, uh, presence, all those things, uh, do they impact? Or do they have any say in the success of the startup itself? Right? Now, the good thing is, whatever we come up with is useless for already successful companies like Airbnb, Reddit. It's going to be useless because the question will be chicken came first or egg came first. Right? Airbnb became famous. Million people started following it. You know, it's not the other way. It's not like, you know, Airbnb used their social media to become big. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand the yes. difference? Because it, Airbnb is a bad example, but think of an unknown company today, you know, uh, some unknown company. They they just got invited, you know, or funded this year by Y Combinator. Yeah, am I making sense? Uh, or uh, Ashraf, it's a bit difficult for you to get what I'm saying. No, 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 I understand. It's just a bit of headache, nothing to do with what you see. <laughs> okay. So let me slow down then. Um, we want to identify the next Airbnb, right? By looking at the parameters of, you know, their uh, social media, because um, we know, like I just, uh, you know, was explaining, these are the uh, startup directory. In fact, you know, one of the reasons why I selected Y Combinator for this research is because they provide their data like precise data. So in this particular screen, I have got um, so you know their batch number, which is all. So this is this is the batch that I have, we have applied to winter twenty three, right? Summer twenty two, winter twenty two. So winter of twenty twenty two, they have selected four hundred and one companies. That's a lot of companies, right? Summer they have selected two hundred and twenty nine, and winter twenty three is what we have applied. Let's see if they select us or not. But all the companies are here. Uh, black founded, Latino founded, women founded is also here. Uh, profit, non-profit, all, all those things are there. Industries are here. So you can you know, actually uh, look at the industry, uh, you know, uh, this thing. And where, which country they are from is also here. So you can actually play with the countries, right? Uh, and in terms of what kind of uh, thing, is it a, a crypto startup, biotech startup, all that is also here. 
and then they're also telling how many of them are active how many of them are uh, you know inactive so for example if i select all the batches i'll get the answer for this one okay so out of 3910 companies that they have invested in 593 are dead that's not bad actually that's really not bad that's less than 20% so that's very good so 500 out of 3000 600 600 out of 3000 yeah but that's like one one fifth okay yeah 600 out of um, yeah it's 20% 15 to 20% right which is pretty good actually um what i want to do is this guys okay i want to collect every single one of these companies okay uh and their social media okay number one and then i also want to collect the company social media and also um the uh, social media of um um like this so if i took um the 2023 like this okay let's say you know i don't want to do all the thing let me take the uh win uh summer 2022 which is the um, one that uh got finished just now um there are 229 companies here okay starting from polymath none of us know which one of these will become an airbnb right you don't know but if we can analyze these 300 229 companies and find out how many followers the company has so for example let me go to polymath so this is polymath and i also go to polymath twitter and then what are the things that i can analyze what are the data that i can you know pick up from here you know uh, from this one right today because this data will keep changing. So, you know, this research paper can be published every six months based on the new data. And we can actually plot a curve of whether these guys are going in the right direction or they are going to end. They are going to end up like Airbnb or they're going to dive like, um, you know. So I want to say that social media indicators are a fantastic leading indicator for startup success. Are you guys with me? Yes. Right. So I want to create this data and I want to update this every month. I want to publish a paper every every six months. Right? You, you don't, there, there's no point in publishing a, a something, you know, every month, you know, it will not be useful. It has to be every six months or every year, just to show, or every quarter, just to show the trajectory of their growth. You, you with me? Okay. Yeah, okay. Right? So Farah, uh, the team that is here, will start collecting the data here, okay? And uh, it's really important that we collect the data in a specific way, otherwise we'll be completely messed up, right? We need all these statistics, you know, for example, um, like if it is a black founded, right? Uh, like where are they storing this data of black founded? Right, it's not here anywhere except you know, yes, I can now know that they're founded by black people, right? So these guys have you know, mm, right? Uh, there, so can you see there are three kind of so how many social media can you see here? You see, they have LinkedIn for the company, Twitter for the company, uh, and then Crunchbase for the company. And uh, the two founders, only one of them have LinkedIn, the other guy does not have you know, uh, Twitter. And this, this guy has both, right? So this is what I'm trying to, um, you know, uh, collect. So I'm going to collect, it is flutter wave, that it is active, it is FinTech, right? Uh, when it was founded, team size, uh, where it is, and their social media, everything. So basically I want to be able to take all this data, put it into an Excel, and then try to do an analysis of um, you know, how they are doing, uh, you know, and literally predict that out of the 400 and uh, 200 and this thing, it is looking like these 20 are really growing in a very interesting way. These other uh, 20 are falling in a bad way. They are flatlining. So using social media, 
the post frequency, the engagement frequency and all those kind of things. I want to be able to predict whether these guys are going to go up or going to go down. This is the research aspect of it. Am I making sense? Any questions? I am okay, Anis. What about Farah Abdurrahman? Yes, uh, I'm okay as well. Yeah. So, me too, Anis. Yeah. Uh, will we all have access to to this database, Anis? Yeah, yeah. All of you will have access to this. Everything is open. Okay. Yeah. Everything is open. I'm trying to see if I can, you know, give you guys something of a base, you know, uh, to work on because I don't want to, you know, uh, collect col data collection is going to be a very, very hard job. So I'm trying to see if I can, you know, collect data somehow. Like, for example, you know, you, ca you can see that I have collected, you know, this data, right? Like, is it, you know, it's uh, 1 to 100. Uh, 1 to 100 at the top, you know. So unfortunately, I have only... Now, this kind of top 100 type of things, right? I don't have um, um, Oh, look, they have actually, oh shit, look at this. They actually have LinkedIn followers. <laughs> they are doing the same math actually, wow. I didn't I didn't expect this. Wow. <laughs> That's quite a revelation to me. Wow. But they're only doing this for their top hundred. And look, wow, look at this. They even have the bloody tweet count. In fact, they have done the job that I want to do because they they are literally tracking these things, man. Shit. Can you see? Yeah. Whoa. So they realize how important these kind of things are, right? Look at this. You know, they are tracking everything. They are tracking Twitter followers, tweet count, Facebook likes, LinkedIn followers. Whoa. There is even a growth score. Yeah. Mind boggling, man. This is mind boggling, actually. The thing is, they are tracking our... Why are they only giving it for the 100 companies, right? That's what I'm not able to figure out, right? If they can give it for all companies, that's why, you know... Okay, let me just give you access to all these things. This is what we want, guys. We want to... Start, um, so I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'm, uh, this team is called the experimentation team, uh, Ashraf. I'm going to add you into that, um, you know, uh, team, um, you know, um, so that, you know, you, you get everything, right? Um, and, and I'm just going to put all the databases. So this is the uh, big database. And we need to um, get all of these data into an Excel somehow. Right. Uh, if it is possible to do this in any you know a good way, then that is great. But if it is not possible, okay. So there are two levels of data, right? So this is the directory data, where you know you get lots of you know this is uh, this is another another database for the uh, same company. Okay, Ashraf, I hope you are getting all these uh, things. Okay. Um, so this has a lot of, you know, uh, factual stuff. This has a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, what do you say, you know, uh, database, like, you know, one, two, three, four, like that, right? Um, I, I was just telling my guys, just create this Excel sheet, okay? But now I'm thinking, you know, we need to think, we shouldn't rush and create this Excel sheet. We should really see if there is any way we can, you know, extract this data out of this uh, thing, um, rather than you know sitting and doing it ourselves. And and look at it. Uh, look at the way they have analyzed it, um, Ashraf. You know, they are saying if I take if I took uh, this one right, twenty three companies are dead in two thousand and sixteen batch, summer batch. 
right? This is batches by fate. Uh, blue is exited, life and dead. Look at the amount of debt. Debt is like big, isn't it? Right? The amount of funding is also here. Uh, they are really correlating like crazy. So the companies, the companies from the latest batch. Look at that. Okay. Wow. This should give us uh, the two hundred and twenty. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. So at least I can make a huge. Uh, you know. Okay, only 173 YC, uh, okay, this is W20 company basically. That means, you know, winter of 2020. Hmm. So one thing is easily we can do is, you know, I can copy this and easily give it to you here like this, but um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. So this is, but then this is just one of the many things that we need to know, uh, worry about, right? Uh, just you know, put it on another sheet here. But um, the uh, Farah, I think the data collection is going to be super. Um, uh, yeah. Mm. What about it? Yeah. Five forty-five. Oh, it's five thirty-eight. Okay. So, um, so we have you know these companies here, right? So we can actually you know, but there, there, you know, I, I, I'm going to search Ashraf. I think you should also search, and everybody else search. Is there any way we can you know um, download all these things into an Excel sheet, uh, and then you know work from there? Right, this the data that we really need. Okay, is not in this uh, thing. Right, um, for all the companies, we need the data for all the uh, all these companies, all these three thousand nine hundred and ten companies. Three thousand nine hundred and ten companies. Right, uh, we need data on all these companies. What is the data we want? The LinkedIn followers. And also one more thing, this only gives, you know, even this one that we just saw, it only gives them um, based on LinkedIn followers. Okay. It only gives them uh, company followers. Okay. I want to go after the founders followers. You see the difference between company followers and founder followers. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's really crucial. You know, Everybody only talked about the company followers. Then nobody talked about it. So company may be having millions of followers. The founder has nothing. Right? Which means he has not really leveraged his power. So we need to associate. So the, the, the research is not about how to, you know, get your brand better. Okay? The research is also how to make your founders, you know, really hit at the top level. And why are we doing all these things? Let me just, you know, uh, bring it down to the theory. Why are we doing all these things, right? We are doing all these things not to publish a research paper or anything like that, right? We are doing this so that we can tell Y Combinator, look, this is the research. This is the analysis. It's obvious. You yourself are doing it in your own thing. We believe if, 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 you, if, if we can help your founders, there are thousands of them, deliver uh, you know uh, social media uh, marketing sales whatever what not we can actually be a huge force behind your founders to make your startup successful that's what you know finally we want to you know tell them but we we do it through a, a, a semi uh, you know research piece because if you don't do a research piece your uh, ideas will not be powerful especially with these big boys and what I want to do, I want to do the same exact research for companies as well, right? Take a company like Accenture, right? We've got 2,500 sales guys and we know that, right? And then let's do a research on, you know, how big they are on social media and tell the company, look, we can really make a huge difference to your company and your social media with these people. 
right? Any time, so Y Combinator has the power to influence all of their companies. Any time we find somebody at the very top who has the ultimate power to influence everybody, you know, within them, we 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 take this approach. Are you guys with me? This is you know literally you know going for the big fish. Think about it. Uh, you know, I have already you know added you guys just you know relax now. Look at all the databases. Tomorrow morning nine o'clock, uh, we are anyway going to meet. Um, so Ashraf, you're more than welcome to join us. We'll spend five, 10 minutes, you know, on this topic first, just to, you know, uh, get everybody charged up. Uh, and then we, we're going to do one thing only in these nine o'clock calls, which is, you know, researching about our client and, you know, uh, but this one, this research is like a mega research. It's not about one company or one VP or one founder. This is about like, you know, uh, taking the whole world of startups and telling them how important social media is for them, right? Think about it. Uh, even, uh, you can even look at, are there other people who have done research like this and published in big paper? Like, uh, you know, the, the correlation between social media and revenue, right? Uh, things like that, you know, we can uh, we can uh, do all those things. But this is what I wanted to quickly talk to you guys. Uh, we, I'll meet, we'll meet, you know, next day tomorrow, nine o'clock.